we're going to be playing with fire. Right, what are we going to need? Matches. A candle. A bit of fruit or blue tack. Something that you can... Stick your match in. A cup of water. Something to stand it all on, just to raise it up a bit. And some playing cards. These are going to be very useful. So what's it all for? Well, the idea is we're going to catch the shot of the match lighting. Very tricky. Um, one of the things that we're probably going to say about it is if you've got a shutter release, um, one of them. Actually, you probably saw the camera in the press button. It's going to be ideal purely because you don't want to shake the camera. Um, if you haven't, then just be real careful when you're pressing the button. Now, obviously, the the faster your continuous shoot on the camera, the better for this one because once you align the candle underneath the match and it looks like it's going to ignite. Press and hold your button, so continuous shooting. And as I found, the gap between the candle and the match is critical because if it's too far away, you take about 100 shots, your camera gets hot, and nothing happens. So obviously get in there, but you don't want it too high because you don't want this in the frame. So getting that is a bit of a play around, which is where the cards come in. So basically the higher that up a little bit, you just shove a few playing cards underneath, just hold it a little bit and see how long it takes. So you're going to waste a few matches before you even take a shot, but it's worth sort of playing around with the height of that to get a good idea. Uh, settings, we'll go over that in a bit. But first, let's just get it all set up.
that was taking a bit of a long time. I need to higher up the candle. So I'm doing increments. Let's play a pack of playing cards. Don't forget that when you've finished with your matches, you just put them in a cup with water because we don't want to burn your house down. The thing is, what I wanted to do was to keep it really dark um, because I thought that that would give it a bit of a better image. Obviously, with it sparking, we would create enough light to take the shot. I've actually found it's not. So, I'm going to add a bit of light into it and see if that makes a bit of a difference. Wow, so I really enjoyed that one. Uh, that was a bit of a learning curve because I mean I haven't I haven't practiced that one. That was just a full in have a play around and and recorded what I was doing. Um, but for some reason, I had in my head to keep the room dark when doing it, and it 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 didn't work. Um, and I think the reason that it didn't work is I think it's because it was too dark. And because you should, you're shooting at such a very fast shutter speed, which is eight hundredth of a second, um, you don't need to keep it dark. It's already going to be dark. But, you know, you're shooting um, a, a bright object, so you're not going to really need to keep the surrounding area dark. Um, so, I did put a couple of uh, lights, as you've seen, um, on the side um, for, for both sides, just to um, in, increase the brightness actually on. The match and that itself um and I, 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 that worked uh it, it did make it that um as you could actually see the match as opposed to just the flame which is what i was getting uh so yeah that uh, that did sort of work so i hope it's going to help you and have a bash and uh uh yeah like i say is um i, I have 
did deviate from the, the shutter speed to see if it made much of a difference. Um, me personally, I found that what I kept at was the eighth of a second um, worked the best. So I'm probably say a good starting point. Um, probably I might probably do this one again and see if I can get a bit more light. But I don't. Want to, it, it's quite difficult because I don't want too much light because you've got to try not to pick up. What is it? Show you, you know, whether it's blue tack or well, I did a bit of fruit and the matching and and um, and also the things like the table and stuff. So, a bit of a tricky one to play around, but have a play around with it. Um, I hope it's a bit of a good guide on <laughs> what to do. Um, I think the results came out okay, but um, yeah, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. See you again soon.